What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another tier list video. Today we are going to be making a tier list of every NBA team's best young asset for this season. So all these players are 24 years of age or younger. Shout out to MB who's been making the tier list for me. He's been making the coaching ones. He's been making, he did the sixth man one. So shout out to MB. So yeah, he threw a bunch of players in here because he didn't maybe know who would be better. So we have 20 or excuse me, we're going to have 30 players, one for each team, and we'll, uh, all these guys are 24 years or younger. So here's the categories he has, um, and once, I'm going to clarify now, if a player is in below average, it doesn't mean they're a below average player. It just kind of goes to show that, um, that they're just below average in everybody else's best prospects. So it'll be interesting to p see which ones I'm going to have to decide on. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy these tier lists, please drop a thumbs up on this video and let me know in the comments if you disagree with anything I said. I know probably some of you guys will have something to disagree with. So uh, yeah, without further ado, this is just for fun. I'll get into my tier list. So Ben Simmons, he's elite. <laughs> That's pretty easy. He's going to be an all NBA player. He's never been an all NBA player, right? Wait, I don't think he was one last year. That's pretty crazy. He'll be one one day. He might win Defensive Player of the Year this year. Who knows? He's that good. DiVincenzo. See, like, I like DiVincenzo a lot, but, like, when I look at everybody else's premier young player, does he come in at average or above average? So I'm going to have him in for average right now, but he will, could definitely be up to above average. Now, between the Bulls' young core, I really want to pick marketing, but I think I'm just going to go with Kobe White. Yeah, I'm going to go with Kobe White, and I think he's got an above average potential. Uh, he has those games where it's just like, all right, this guy... Can just shoot the lights out of the gym. He's a good ball handle. He's good in transition. Um, and he's going to come in above average. But I, I just, because I think he's a higher upside than DiVincenzo. I think DiVincenzo is perfect for the Bucks and what they give. And he's just a great situational or kind of a fit for them. Play defense, hit your threes, not turn the ball over. But somebody you're kind of relying on your offense more and just to kind of carry you and raise your ceiling. Maybe maybe that's uh, Kobe White or uh, maybe you're four. So Sexton. I mean, he's killing it this year. I think above average is... I think where I want to put him, I think this is his third year. I don't want to maybe overreact and put him in great yet, but we'll see who's in great. So Tatum, he's elite. Uh, yeah, he's one of the best young players in the NBA. Uh, elite is pretty much where he should be. Uh, I don't know. Maybe DiVincenzo should be on par with these guys. Uh, Luke Kennard. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Luke Kennard could be average. I don't think he has any potential like one of these. Well, Kobe White and I think Sexton have potential to be a top two three guy on their teams DiVincenzo maybe but uh, I think Luke Kennard you kind of know what he is he's gonna shoot the ball he's gonna kind of play make uh better to be like your fourth primary ball handler or something like that so uh I think I'm gonna choose Zubats over um or excuse me I'm choosing Kennard over Zubats for that uh John Morant an elite young prospect yeah <laughs> he's a second year I mean if we want to kind of go through these elite ones like Trey Young will be elite Luca is elite um Brandon Ingram elite uh let's see is Jamal Murray elite I don't know uh, yeah, I'm choosing Ingram over Zion. Like, Luca, self-explanatory. Same with Trey Young. Pretty much same with Ja. And same with Brandon Ingram. You guys know how great they are. Like, Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> There's going to be so many elite guys. Oh, man. Okay, maybe we'll have to, uh, we'll figure this out a little bit. Like, does, do we drop Ja down a tier? Do we drop Trey and Ja? I don't know. Do we maybe drop Mitchell and put Trey? I don't know. Maybe I'll do something like this. I don't know. Uh, so we'll just leave this for now and I'll balance in a little bit. So, Tower Hero say he's above average young player um i'm surprised he doesn't have weight how old's bam okay so bam is 23 so he just kind of messed up here bam if he was in here he'd probably be in great yeah he'd probably be in great uh but for hero he'll be an above average Lamelo is about average for now uh, i don't want to kind of uh make any assumptions um i think darren fox is great rj barrett you know what? I might actually bump down Kobe White to average and have him in the same tier. Because I feel like he should be in the similar tier to RJ. Um, and honestly, if actually Luke Kennard's your best young ac accent, best young asset, that's pretty below average, actually. So, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. THT, below average young player now. Um, or below average top asset, top young asset on the team. He could be a good player. He, could, he looks like he could be a rotational guy. But you're looking at the potential of everybody else here. I'm not taking THT on over anybody in the tiers above him, right? You wouldn't either. Uh, so for the Magic, I'm gonna keep it as Isaac, even with the injury. And I think uh, like Isaac or Fultz, I'd probably both put in above average. Jared Allen, 
pretty average. Um, maybe that's... I don't know. I'd probably have Levert in here. I don't know. Actually, Levert's like 25, right? Yeah, yeah. Or Levert's older than 24. Um, I'm going to choose Jamal Murray over Porter Jr. He's going to go in the great tier. Uh, Sabonis. Hmm. He's playing like elite this year. I just don't want to have... <laughs> There's so many guys. Um... Okay, Booker, Aiden, like, obviously Booker's going to be an elite. If Mitchell's going to be uh, an elite. Shea, probably great for now. Um, Killian or Seku? I'm going to, because I feel like they have more um, expectations for Killian. Probably going to have Killian an average as a rookie because um, they just took him high. Like, Chris Clemens, it's a pretty easy one because I think Christian Wood's 25. He's below average. OG and Anobi, I'd say he's above average at the moment. Um, out of these Spurs guys, I would say DeJounte Murray, and he's an above average. Uh, d -Lo, hmm. I'm gonna put him in above average. Uh, I think d -Lo is still a little bit overrated, um, and I, I think, um, having him in above average is proper. Like, there's some other guys that I would be like, alright, they could end up as better players throughout their career. I would take all, I don't know, a lot of people are gonna get mad that I have d -Lo. And if you want to put him in great, I don't know. Like, you're looking at D'Lo. He's not, like, he's not a ceiling raiser. He's, like, a floor raiser, but he's not going to really take you to the promise site. He's not really going to make you that much better. We've seen what he's been doing without Carl Anthony Towns. And kind of the Timberwolves have been a better team this year with him off the floor. So, I don't know. Um, we'll leave it at that. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll change it. Uh, Wiseman, he's about average right now for these uh, for these guys. No one's shown anything. Yeah, it's still early. It is still early. Uh, Anthony Simon slash like Gary Trent. Huh. Um, I guess Gary Trent would be that. Now, I would say Gary Trent's a pretty below average top prospect on your team. But I feel like Jared Allen would be as well. Yeah, not saying like Jared Allen's a bad player at all. It's just like when you're looking at the rest, I don't know. I feel like it's actually criminal having him in this tier. So I'm going to put him in. Uh, I'll keep him in average because he is a good player. All right. So I think the only r teams we have left are is the Wizards. Um, Maybe there's a team in here that didn't really have anybody. Actually, no. If he has Chris Clemens in here, he probably has every team. Uh, Abdiya or Hashimura. I would say they have, they were relying more on Avdiha, but, uh, and pretty much with all the rookies, I'm, uh, like Ball and Wiseman and Hayes, I'm putting them in there. So let me just think about this. Let me see if I want to change anything around, and then I'll get back to you. All right. I think, okay, I, I like this a lot better, changing the names of these tiers, so you're not really kind of relying too much on it being average. And I know a bunch of people are like, oh, you can't have all this above average if you only have less amount of average guys you know who you are in the comments so i like this a lot so franchise guy that seems like they could be the number one on a championship team uh for these guys good number twos now um i feel like most of these guys all of them could be number twos on a championship team like fox is the number one right now but he hasn't been the kings to the playoff yet so i think he's a good number two sabonis is the one guy i was like okay do we put him in franchise guy i don't want to overcommit or overreact yet because the pacers even if he's their number one guy this year, they could still lose in round one. It's like, all right, same thing happened with Oladipo. Murray, uh, I don't think he could be number one. Shea's also another one. Shea and Sabonis. I was like, could Shea be up there yet? I don't really know yet, but I think Shea uh, should be in this tier, I think. I don't know. That might be a little premature putting him in a franchise guy. But yeah, we have all these guys as franchise guys. Um, could be good or could be great, but could also be all right. Um, I think all these guys, like, I think DiVincenzo is a better situational guy. So, you know what? I'm actually going to drop DiVincenzo. I don't know. Do I drop DiVincenzo? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to drop DiVincenzo. Um, have him in this tier. Solid, but could be better. But these guys are very young, like sophomores in Barrett and White. Um, th third year player in Allen. Then rookies here. So, these guys could be great. And then at the end of the year, like Killian could be in this tier. Or Lamelo could be in this tier. Lamelo could, who knows, be in this tier. Um, DiVincenzo could make me eat my words and um, could be up there. And then I feel like might need someone new. Yeah, you really can't rely on this guy being your best young asset asset if you're relying on your future for your team like if you wanted to see like where i'd like other guys like i would probably have aiden maybe in there uh porter jr probably in here um and then zion would probably i don't know he'd be he'd be interesting to put there uh but yeah that is gonna be for me i hope you guys did enjoy this tier list video drop a thumbs up if you did and then you can let me know in the comments anything you disagree with thank you all for watching i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace